The neutral powers were countries that remained neutral during World War II. Some of these countries had large colonies abroad or had great economic power. Spain had just been through its civil war, which ended on 1 April 1939 five months prior to the invasion of Poland—a war that involved several countries that subsequently participated in World War II. During World War II, the neutral powers took no official side, hoping to avoid attack. However, Portugal, Sweden, and Switzerland all helped the Allies by supplying «voluntary» brigades to the United Kingdom, while Spain avoided the Allies in favour of the Axis. Ireland generally favoured the Allied side, as with the United States. The United States remained neutral until December 8, 1941, a day following the sneak attack by Japan on Pearl Harbor. The Lateran Treaty between Italy and the Vatican, signed in 1929, required that the Pope maintain "...perpetual neutrality in international relations", making the Vatican City a neutral state. Several countries suffered invasions in spite of their efforts to be neutral. These included Nazi Germany's invasion of Denmark and Norway on 9 April 1940, then Belgium, the Netherlands, and Luxembourg on 10 May 1940. On the same day, 10 May 1940, the British, having already invaded the Faroe Islands in April, invaded Iceland and established an occupying force subsequently replaced by the then neutral United States. In the Baltic states, the Soviet Union invaded Lithuania on 15 June 1940 and Latvia and Estonia on 17 June. In the Balkans, the Italo-Greek War began on 28 October 1940 and Yugoslavia was invaded in April 1941. Iran was also attacked and occupied by Britain and the Soviet Union in August 1941. See also the histories of Afghanistan, Andorra, Guatemala, Liechtenstein, Saudi Arabia and Yemen during this period. Topic: <inaudible> Continent. Topic: Europe. Topic: Ireland Ireland, the policy of Irish neutrality during World War II was adopted by the Oireachters Legislature of Ireland at the instigation of Eamon de Valera, the Taoiseach head of government upon the outbreak of hostilities in Europe. It was maintained throughout the conflict, in spite of several German air raids understood to be by aircraft that missed their intended targets in Britain or Northern Ireland and attacks on Ireland's shipping fleet by Allies and Axis alike. De Valera refrained from joining either the Allies or Axis powers. Portugal Portugal – Portugal was officially neutral during the World War II. However, it maintained a close relationship with the UK, due to the alliance it had for the last 600 years, which is the longest-lasting military alliance in history. The Estado Novo sought neutrality as a strategy to keep Spain neutral and prevent it from joining the Axis. Portugal continued trading with countries from both sides of the conflict throughout the war. In the second half of the war, it let the Allies use bases in the Azores to fight German submarines, because Prime Minister Salazar feared an Allied invasion of the Azores. Colonies of Portugal Angola Cape Verde Portuguese Guinea Portuguese India Macau Mozambique Sao Tome and Principe Portuguese Timor occupied by Japan from 1942 to 1944 Topic Spain Spain Franco sent the Blue Division to fight for the Axis on the Eastern Front Topic Sweden Sweden, the Swedish government supported Finland during the Winter War. The later transit of German troops through Finland and Sweden and Swedish iron ore mining during World War II helped the German war effort. During the liberation of Finnmark it sent Norwegian police troops over the border to link up with Allied forces. 
At the end of the war it was preparing to invade Norway and Denmark with the Allies should the occupying Wehrmacht forces refuse to accept a general German armistice. Switzerland Switzerland – Switzerland maintained its neutrality so as to protect its own banking interests from plunder by the Axis. It also depended on German coal, with 10 million tons imported during the war, making up 41% of Swiss energy supplies. Often, Swiss soldiers opened fire on Axis bombers invading their airspace. On several occasions, Switzerland also shot down Allied planes. Throughout the war, cities in Switzerland were accidentally bombed by both Axis and Allied airplanes. Adolf Hitler did indeed plan to invade Switzerland, but Switzerland had formed complex fortifications and amassed hundreds of thousands of soldiers in the mountains to thwart any Axis invasion. Because of the extreme mountainous conditions in Switzerland, Hitler decided to bombard the United Kingdom rather than engage in a costly war with Switzerland. <laughs> Lithuania Lithuania, Lithuania, along with its Baltic neighbours Latvia and Estonia, jointly declared their neutrality on November 18, 1938, in Riga, at the Conference of Baltic Foreign Ministers with their respective parliaments passing neutrality laws later that year. Despite that, all three Baltic states were occupied twice by the Soviet Union and once by Nazi Germany. Latvia. Latvia, Latvia, along with its Baltic neighbours Lithuania and Estonia, jointly declared their neutrality on November 18, 1938, in Riga, at the Conference of Baltic Foreign Ministers with their respective parliaments passing neutrality laws later that year. Despite that, all three Baltic states were occupied twice by the Soviet Union and once by Nazi Germany. Estonia. Estonia, Estonia, along with its Baltic neighbours Lithuania and Latvia, jointly declared their neutrality on November 18, 1938, in Riga, at the Conference of Baltic Foreign Ministers with their respective parliaments passing neutrality laws later that year. Despite that, all three Baltic states were occupied twice by the Soviet Union and once by Nazi Germany. Iceland. Iceland remained neutral throughout World War II. Topic: Microstates. Topic: Andorra. Andorra. Topic: Liechtenstein. Liechtenstein. Topic Monaco. Monaco occupied by Italy and later Germany. Topic San Marino. San Marino briefly occupied by Germany, 17 to 20 September 1944, declared war on Germany, the 21st of September 1944. Topic: Vatican City. Vatican City. See Vatican City in World War II. Topic: Asia. Topic: Afghanistan. Afghanistan remained neutral throughout World War II. Topic: Bhutan. Bhutan remained neutral throughout World War II. Topic: Iran. Iran was neutral but occupied by the Allies. See Anglo-Soviet invasion of Iran. Topic: Nepal. 
Nepal as a British protectorate was one of the first non-major powers to declare war upon Germany, and the first non-Dominion state to do so, on 4 September 1939. After Pearl Harbor, the Royal Nepalese Army fought under British command in Burma, distinguishing themselves in their service. <inaudible> Saudi Arabia Saudi Arabia severed diplomatic contacts with Germany on the 11th of September 1939 and with Japan in October 1941. Although officially neutral, the Saudis provided the allies with large supplies of oil. Diplomatic relations with the United States were established in 1943. King Abdul Aziz Al Saud was a personal friend of Franklin D Roosevelt. The Americans were then allowed to build an air force base near Dharan. Saudi Arabia declared war on Germany on 28 February 1945 and Japan on 1 April 1945, but no military actions resulted from the declaration. Tibet Tibet, unrecognized, claimed by China but de facto independent, remained neutral throughout World War II. Topic. Turkey Turkey was neutral until several months before the end of the war, at which point it joined the Allies. Prior to the outbreak of war, Turkey signed a mutual aid pact with France and Britain in 1939. After the German invasion of France, however, Turkey remained neutral, relying on a clause excusing them if military action might bring conflict with the USSR, which, after the division of Poland, Turkey feared. Then, in June 1941, after neighboring Bulgaria joined the Axis and allowed Germany to move troops through to invade Yugoslavia and Greece, Turkey signed a treaty of friendship with Germany. Winston Churchill and his military staff met the president at Adana on 30 January 1943 for the Adana Conference, although Turkey did not then change its position. Turkey was an important producer of chromite, a key ingredient in the manufacture of stainless steel and refractory brick, to which the Germans had limited access. Sale of chromite to Germany or to the Allies who had access to other sources, and mainly bought Turkish chromite in order to preclude its sale to Germany was the key issue in Turkey's negotiations with both sides. Turkey halted its sales to Germany in April 1944 and broke off relations in August. In February 1945, after the Allies made its invitation to the inaugural meeting of the United Nations along with the invitations of several other nations conditional on full belligerency, Turkey declared war on the Axis powers, but no Turkish troops ever saw combat. <laughs> Yemen Yemen remained neutral throughout World War II. Topic Americas Topic Nicaragua 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 declared war on Japan immediately after the attack on Pearl Harbor. Three days later, on the 11th of December, Nicaragua declared war on Germany and Italy, and on the 19th of December, on Bulgaria, Romania, and Hungary. Out of these six Axis countries, only Romania reciprocated, declaring war on Nicaragua on the same day, the 19th of December 1941. Topic: <laughs> United States. United States, the United States remained neutral at the outbreak of World War II in compliance with the Neutrality Act of 1936 despite favoring the Allied side. However, the sudden defeat of France by Nazi Germany in the spring of 1940 led the country to significantly expand its armed forces through the Selective Training and Service Act of 1940. On December 29 of that year, President Franklin D. Roosevelt declared that the United States was to be the "...arsenal of democracy," for the Allies by giving them supplies while the country remained neutral. The U.S. remained neutral until December 8, 1941, when it declared war on Japan in response to the surprise attack on Pearl Harbor the previous day. <laughs> 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 
Topic Conclusion Portugal, Spain, Sweden, and Switzerland held to the concept of armed neutrality, and continuously amassed soldiers to defend their nation's sovereignty from potential invasion. Thus, they maintained the right to become belligerent if attacked while in a state of neutrality. The concept of neutrality in war is narrowly defined and puts specific constraints on the neutral party in return for the internationally recognized right to remain neutral. A wider concept is that of non belligerence. The basic treaty covering neutral states is Convention V of The Hague respecting the rights and duties of neutral powers and persons in case of war on land 1907. It is important to note that a neutral country takes no side in a war between other parties, and in return hopes to avoid being attacked by either of them. A neutralist policy aims at neutrality in case of an armed conflict that could involve the party in question. A neutralist is an advocate of neutrality in international affairs. The concept of neutrality in conflicts is distinct from non-alignment, i.e., the willful desistance from military alliances in order to preserve neutrality in case of war, and perhaps with the hope of preventing a war altogether. In a study of Spain, Switzerland, and Sweden during the Second World War, Eric Golson found that they engaged in economic realpolitik, as they traded with both the Axis and the Allied powers. See also Participants in World War II Allies of World War II Axis powers Declarations of war during World War II Latin America during World War II